Your reality is a reflection of what's in your heart. Whatever is in your heart is like a magnet for signs on the outside world to show you what do you need to work on. For example, my dear friend Cheryl yesterday eating slowly in a restaurant by herself minding her own business. A random stranger at a nearby table said to her, you're eating too slowly. <laughs> now whose voice was that really? That was her mother's voice, but coming through a complete stranger, echoing back to her, what is she putting out into the world? She's putting out into the world, I've been criticized, I'm criticizing myself. And so therefore other people show her what she is doing by criticizing her. The same thing with <laughs> if you're in blame, if you're sitting in victimhood, you will find other people point the finger back at you and blame you. As, as our bank account is a reflection of how we feel about ourselves. If we feel abundant, if we feel successful, if we feel wealthy, there will be money in our bank account. If we feel poor, well, I know you're going to say, well, of course I feel poor. There's nothing in my bank account. But what I will say is if you start feeling opulent, as you start feeling wealthy, you start feeling successful, as you are, you're going to find money flows to you. Just the same as the more you love you, the more you're going to find people in the outer world giving you messages of love, bringing back to you whatever is in your heart. So I'm not blaming you. I'm just sharing. This is what I've discovered. The universe was set up to help us heal ourselves. So it is a mirror of what we hold in our hearts. Our hearts are big old magnets, way more powerful than the brain. So whatever is in our heart, if, it's, if we've held on to anger, I, Certainly you have the right to feel anger. We all have the right to feel whatever we feel. But when we hold on to and hoard emotions and don't let go, don't learn to process and release them, we could be 30, 40 years past the, the abuse, past the suffering, and we're still emanating that pain from the past. And so releasing these emotions, learning how to process them is what I help you do. I help you love yourself fearlessly so that your health reflects it, so your world reflects it. Now, when I used to hate myself, I had fibromyalgia, Epstein-Barr, TMJ. I had all kinds of problems with dizziness, anxiety, depression. And then when I learned how to love myself and accept myself as I am, I started to look back at the past and go, holy cow, the anxiety is gone. The fibromyalgia is gone. I don't have pain anywhere in my body. Holy cow. It's amazing when we start to soften our gaze here, looking at ourselves with kindness, patience, compassion, instead of beating ourselves up. Why did I marry him? Why did I buy that thing? Why do I have these addictions? And so being gentle and loving with yourself, aware of what you're thinking and how you're feeling and how the thoughts create feelings in your body, all of this is part of healing. It took me over 30 years to get to this place of loving acceptance of myself and everything in my world and I can help you. I have the tools, I've learned how, and I can show you the way. If you're interested and committed to having a better life, a happier life, one free of suffering, I invite you to send me an email or visit my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com or jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail. I am the self-love guru. I've learned how to heal myself and I can help you heal you. Much love and thanks for watching.